Hey everyone, it's Thomas Campbell, golf professional and master club fitter at Second Swing. Uh, today we're going to talk about the length of the putter and how important it is. Uh, very, very important to make sure that you play with the correct length putter. Um, putters all range in length from a, you know, around about 32 inches all the way up to over 40 inches in length. Um, very important to make sure you get the correct length in your hands. Um, one thing I will say is industry standard for putters is usually around about 35 inches. I would say probably 90% of putters, oh, sorry, 90% of golfers probably are playing the wrong length putter. A lot of people will just kind of gravitate towards that 35 inch putter and not even think about um, getting custom fit. So really interesting there. Um, you want to make sure you have the correct length um, putter because it can definitely influence a lot of things. Um, so if a putter is, you know, too long, some things can, can happen is the line angle can change. So if a putter is too long, naturally your hands are going to be a little bit lower. You're going to be further away from the, um, further away from the ball, which is going to make it really, really hard to get that putter lined up. So for example, this putter that I grab right here, um, it's 36 inches long. So it's kind of towards that longer end. If I was going to sit up and hit a couple of putts here, notice how I'm going to go back way a little bit further. My uh, eye position of the ball is going to be quite far away. So for if I was going to have a putter that's too long, I'm going to be standing way too far away from the ball. So that's going to cause this toe to be more in the air. So it's gonna be a little too far upright. When it's too far upright, notice how hard it is to hit that sweet spot. So line angle is very, very important to get right, but also so is length. So if you're playing with a putter that's too long, a good chance that, that you may see that toe up in the air. You may not even notice it, but I guarantee that your playing partners will notice that. So that is with a putter that's too far up. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna hit a couple of putts towards this hole just going to show you what happens when a putter is too long. So I don't know if you can notice it, but this toe right here was up in the air. It's not flat. It's essentially too far upright, which really makes it hard to get that thing, you know, nice and flush against the ground. In an ideal world, we would have this part of the putter nice and flush against the ground. So by getting a putter that's going to be a little bit shorter, that may help with that. So I'm going to go to the other end of the spectrum. I'm going to grab a putter here that's 32 inches long. And I'm going to also hit a couple, a couple of putts here and just going to show you how different this looks. So the one first one was 36 inches. Now we have 32 inches. So naturally, it forces me to feel like I have to be a little bit closer to the ball. But it gets my eye position more over the ball. And what it actually does is gets this a little bit flatter. Now, 32 inches for me is going to be a little bit too flat. I'm going to probably actually have that heel at the too far at the, at the end of the spectrum. So we really want to make sure we get the correct uh, length there. All right. So a lot of this influences, um, it influences your stroke type. So if you were going to stand far away from the, um, if you're going to stand far away from the, from the bull, your stroke type naturally is going to be very, very uh, strong arced. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this down on the ground here. Let's see if we can take a look at my my putting stroke. So this is a real close up view of my putting stroke with a 
putter that is too long. So this is that 36 inch putter. Notice when I put this putter down, notice how you can see this kind of toe up in the air right here. So that tells me this putter is too, too long or too far upright. And what can happen is your tendency when you have a putter that's too far upright or too long is you may miss it a little to the left. So that was a putter that was 36 inches long. At the other end of the spectrum, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go hit a couple of putts with a putter that is 32 inches long. So I've got this 32 inch putter. I'm going to do the exact same thing. All right, so take a look here. This putter is 32 inches long. So if you're going to look at the bottom of this club, you'll notice now how that heel kind of wants to get up in the ground, up in the air a little bit. That tells you that this putter here is a little bit too, too short for me. And my tendency, typically with a putter that's too flat, is you may miss it to the left a little bit too much. So it's important to make sure you get the right length um, putter in your hands for sure. Um, now I can definitely adjust to it because I've, I've played around with different lengths of putters for a long, long time. But out on the golf course, you want to play putt with something you feel really, really confident with. So it's really important to make sure you're playing with the right length. So I kind of showed you an extreme from 36 to 32 inches. When I play with a traditional putter, I'm usually around about 33 and three quarters is the length I've always played a putter with to get my eye position directly over the ball. So speaking of getting your eye position directly over the ball, there are some drills out there to get you to kind of work on that. So just to kind of follow up on last week, the uh, putting tool that I was kind of talking about using, the putting stick, With this putting stick right here, if you notice, there's this mirror right in the, in, embedded in the, in the stick. It's a great option to be able to see your eye position, see if you're inside or too far over, if your putter's too long, too, too short for you, if you need to choke down the putter or if you need to grip, up, grip too far. Um, so great tool to use. Not only is it a great one to groove your putting stroke, but it's a great option to use a mirror to kind of see, you know, your eye position over the, over the bowl. So if I was going to use this, What I can see when I'm looking down is I can see if my eyes are too far inside. So if I was going to be the part of that's kind of too long, my eye position is going to be back this, this way too far. Move this around a little bit. So too far inside would be too far this way or too far over would be too, too far that way. Um, in an ideal world, what I would recommend is having your eye position directly over the golf ball. Um, at least be directly over or just inside. Just inside is a, is, a, is a good option as well. Once we start getting too far over, so if you put the putter that's too short for you, which I'm going to say is probably not the most common case, um, but it's you know important to make sure you play the right length, um, you may start having to try and manipulate that club face a little bit too much. So the right length putter that you that play with um, is very, very important there. Um, so that's, that's one tool that I would like to use. Putting stick, winter time, stuck inside. Who knows how long I'm gonna be stuck inside here in Minnesota. Um, but if you do this a lot, kind of groove your stroke, great, great option there with the, with the putting stick. I love that this because it's got this mirror built in. This is the putting stick pro version. Um, there is also another version, um, the original version. Um, that one has a mirror at the end of the stick. You can still also see your eye position. So notice the importance of eye position uh, over the golf ball with the putting stick. Um, other options we have. A great option is to something as simple as picking up a golf ball and then setting up to a to another golf ball 
and then just dropping the golf ball down from your eye to see where that ball drops. So naturally, if that ball drops uh, too far inside, that tells me that the, I'm standing too far away from the ball. If that ball drops too far this way, it tells me that I'm essentially, you've got a putter that's maybe too, too short for me, I'm standing a little too close to the golf ball. In an ideal world, you want to have be really, very comfortable. You want to have this putter to be nice and there. We don't want to have that um, that toe, toe up in the air. We don't want to have that heel up in the air either. So that is uh, putting, putting length, um, very, very important. Does anyone have any questions here so far? I'm taking a look here at the comment section. They're pretty blank here today. Anyone got any questions so far? All right. Uh, another drill that I really like to use when I'm checking out the, the length of the putter, um, getting my eye position directly to the ball, is actually using a string. Now, I don't have a string when I use that outside. I grab a piece of string that's going to be kind of a little bit longer, and I grab put it, put it into the ground, and then I check to see my eye position of the ball. When I do that drill, what I like to do is I like to use a line that's on the ball, whether that be the kind of the, the practice line right here. And then I want to have that string essentially dissect that golf ball in half. If I am too far inside, what I'll see is I'll see kind of more, you know, I won't see that line. Essentially, that line is going to be um, across. But if I'm right over it, that line will be covered up by the string. So I really like to use that. Um, and obviously, the other side, you can, if you see too much line, it means you're too far over as well. Okay, so I have a question here. What do you recommend for a lady's putter? Now, good question. Um, what I will say is there is, you know, yes, there are some putters out there on the market that are specifically designed for ladies. But typically what you'll find is to kind of talk about length of the putter first is a shorter putter for the most part. Um, shorter putter is going to give you a little bit of easier to control the, the club face as well um, and also allow you to get that well, I position kind of directly over the top or ever so slightly inside. Definitely don't want a putter that's too long. Um, that, that makes it much harder to control that club face. Um, weight is another thing as well for, for lady for ladies putters. I wouldn't probably go with a crazy heavy putter for for you know for ladies putter. Now, what I'll say when it comes to fitting putters, I it's just like kind of fitting any other club. Some ladies out there you know they fit into men's clubs a lot of them do a lot of them are just as strong as some men they hit the ball pretty far um so there's no specific just you have to play this ladies putter i hope that kind of helps answer that question there um so i would say if you're in the market for looking for a putter it doesn't have to be just a ladies putter just you know you definitely kind of look at different different options there important to get that length right um get the line go right get the right loft etc um, yeah, so I hope that answers that, that question. Um, going back to the string idea, um, not only does it also groove your stroke really, really well, um, but it does help you see whether that ball position is too far inside or too far over the, over the top. Um, I just kind of go to kind of Menards and grab like a little elastic string and um, grab a couple of pins at each end. You can definitely buy these pre-made um, putting alignment strings as well online but i kind of make mine with about it only cost me two or three dollars to, to make and i use it a lot so it's, it's a good option there to you know figure out your length of the putter um and also um groove your stroke as well uh, another option we've got here is you know the use of a mirror so this is just a kind of training mirror that i've that i've got right here if you you know want to, we're going to set up to this the mirror and that's going to do this real quick so if i was going to set up to this mirror here with the ball i want to make sure that that i'm right in the center so if i'm right in the center my eye position is going to be you know, right over the ball and i can kind of show you that from this view here hopefully so if we're looking at this screen right here, notice how you can see that my eye line is right on the line at that position there. So right there. So you want to make sure the eye position directly over the ball. 
um, using a mirror is a great option. The other option is actually just using a window or even just kind of a, a glass mirror that you'd have on, on the side. So what you can also do is hit a few putts by the, by the window or just kind of line yourself up and just kind of check out your eye position over the ball there. So you can just kind of use this mirror here to kind of line myself up and see my uh, eye position over the ball. And it's hard to see there. Um, but if I was going to hold this in one hand and, and putt, I can see if I'm too far inside, too far over the top, kind of where we want where we want to be. Um, so that's kind of what I would kind of talk about with um, length and lying. So just going to talk about also when, what we do in fittings. So a lot of the time, well, actually most of the time, we always use the ping putting app. Um, I have a couple of pre putts on here that are kind of str strong arc, slide arc, and uh, and straight type. So I'm gonna just gonna pull up one here that was a um, a strong arc and just kind of show the difference between a strong arc, slide arc, and a straight type putter. Um, just to kind of talk about. Sorry, my internet here is a little bit slow. Um, so talking about the, the type, putting, putting type. So something that has a lot of toe hang. So if I was going to let go of this putter right here, notice how this toe is kind of pointing almost about 60 or 70 degrees down, maybe a little bit more. This would be a type of putter that would fit someone into kind of like a strong arc. So strong arc, we can kind of see how this hangs all the way, all the way down when I let go of it. Um, that is someone that has a lot of arc in their stroke. Typically, you know, a little bit more, about seven or eight, eight degrees or, or more. Um, at the other end of the spectrum, if I do the exact same thing, so all this putter right here, notice if I was going to let go of this putter right here, notice how that putter stays very, very face balanced. This would be a putter that kind of something someone fits into very straight back, straight through. Um, the ideal world is you want to take it as straight back, straight through as you can. And that's why I would say is if you have a putter that's too long for you, typically you may fit into a strong arc kind of stronger putter. Um, if you have a putter that's too short for you or that is short enough, you're going to be more kind of straight back, straight through. Uh, other end, um, in the middle, so this here would be a slight. So notice how I kind of hold this, let go of this. Notice how this toe is just kind of hanging here about a 45 degree angle. This would be a, um, a slight arc. So to talk about strong arc, and my app keeps crashing on me here. Um, I'm just going to skip over this. Um, what we do use, though, is that iPing 2.0 app. What we get our customers to do is we get to hit three putts with the app on the putter. So kind of set up like in, in this position here and then have them hit three putts and then we kind of take a look at their, at their putting stroke and analyze it a little bit. In this circumstance right here, we'll notice that this customer of ours um, fit into a strong arc. So that kind of explains what strong arc is. Closing angle, if we're going to take a look at these really closely here, notice how there's some cutoffs. So notice all these blue dots on this, on this one here. These putts here essentially were strong arc, so it explains to someone that fits into a putter that needs a little bit more toe hang. Um, the other interesting thing here is when that person fits into a strong arc putter, check out that bottom number right there. Look, check out that lion go. Notice how there's that blue dot that's way, way, way over across right there. That typical, that, that putter right there had a putter was too far up. Remember I said if the putter's too long, you're going to be too far away, and that, long, that line angle is going to be very, very upright. So this one here was about 8 degrees too far upright, so the toll was about 8 degrees up in the air. So we, so this particular putter, if we weren't going to change their length of their putter or get them close to the ball, we would need to flatten this, bend this putter 8 degrees to get this nice and flat. So that's kind of line angle. Um, let's see if we can find another one here. That was from our history. 
Anyone else got any questions here as I'm kind of talking about length, lie angle, how it influences direction at all? Okay. So this is another, another customer of ours who knows how it's straight back, straight through. So knows it's a straight um, closing angle 0 0.1. So not much closing angle at all. Um, and then we take a look at this lie angle. Notice how lie angle actually is at the other end of the spectrum. So notice actually this particular player needed a putter that was going to be a little bit flatter. So i am be willing to bet that he probably stood right over the ball or maybe just a little bit too close to the golf ball. So that's how kind of how lie angle can influence. You know, so the length of the putter can influence lie angle. And um, essentially, in the, the day, we want to make sure that we get this putter nice and flat. I don't want to come up to you on the putting green and say, hey, this toe is up in the air. I can fit my hand under the side. If it was like that, you go work really, really hard to hit the middle of that, that putter. So very, very important to get the line go correct. Other end of the spectrum, we don't want to essentially have that heel up in the air either. We want to make sure that putter is nice and flat so we can take it straight back, straight through, and make lots of putts on the, on the green. Um, so my favorite drill, just to kind of cover this a little bit more is to use something as simple as the putting stick. I think it's a great putting tool, um, if, especially if you, you know, in the winter time or when you're kind of stuck, stuck inside, it's a great one to kind of drill your, your, your stroke. Um, I love how it's got the built-in mirror right here. Um, great option there to be able to check out your eye position directly over the ball. If you can't see your eyes in this mirror, it's telling me that you're standing too far away from the ball. Um, that's one thing I like to, to do. Uh, I also like to use a mirror on the ground. There's definitely a lot of training mirrors that you can place on the ground, place your ball on that mirror and hit some putts. Um, that way you can kind of see if your eye position is too far inside or too far this way. Um, end of the day, we want to make sure that that putter is nice and flat. And by getting your eye position directly over the ball, it's going to be a good option there too. Um, other one I like to, I mentioned, like to do is love to use a string. Um, that's just something that a tool that I kind of like to play around with. Um, I kind of grab a, grab a string from something like Walmart or Menards or anything like that and grab a couple of pins, have it about kind of six to eight feet away, extend that elastic string out and then hit some pots. And I like to dissect that golf ball in half. Um, use a line on my ball, but this one right here, no sales go to practice. I would want to put this right directly under the string. And then if I, when I'm standing over that ball, if I can't see that, that line there, that tells me my eye position is perfect. If I can see that line, I can see more of the golf ball on the other side of that string. It tells me I'm probably too far over same, same way. If I can see too much that way, it tells me I'm a little bit too far inside. So very important to get the line, the, the length of the putter correct. Um, one of my favorite putters to use in fittings is um, these Ping Sigma 2 putters because these putters are adjustable. So I think it's a great option to not only if you're looking for a putter to even play around and tinker with, um, the Ping Sigma 2s, this grip, if we were going to insert the wrench into the grip right here, I can adjust the length. So this one's set at 32 inches. If I was just going to kind of rotate this around a few times here, notice how this is starting to kind of move, move away from that, that label. It's actually extending a little bit longer. Um, so this is a good way to kind of educate yourself as well to figure out, hey, what length putter should I be playing with? Um, notice I'm going kind of all the way up. To, we're almost at 36 inches here. There's some markers on there that can tell you the right, right length. Um, so very, very important to make sure I play the correct uh, length um, in uh, with my putter. Got a question here. Um, thanks, Caleb. So not a putter related question, but I definitely can answer. Uh, in your opinion, what iron shaft is most similar in EI, oh, here boy, oh boy, here we go. In uh, EI profile, it's the Ventus Blue Driver shaft. Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, I don't usually go into the EI profile too much. What I would say is pretty close to that one. I know Torque on the Ventus Blue 
is around about, you know, if I'm talking about a stiff or extra stiff shaft, is around about 3.0. Um, so I'm kind of going on, I'm going to talk rating right here because it's it's a pretty boardy golf shaft. It's got a little bit of give to it. I know the Vantas Black is very, very boardy, um, but I'd say probably something along the lines of maybe like a Project X would be probably somewhere kind of similar in, in an iron shaft. Um, the L Project X LZ would probably have a little bit softer midsection there. Um, but yeah, I'd say Project X would be something kind of similar with regards to irons comparing to kind of you know, driver shafts. That's a, that's a very good question though. Thanks, thanks, Caleb, for really getting my uh, <laughs> making me think about some uh, EO profile in, in golf shafts there too. So a little bit more training maybe maybe may needed there to figure out the EO, EO profile in every single golf shaft. There's so many golf shafts out there on the market. Um, that's a good question. Thank you. Um, does anyone have else have any questions here with regards to you know, putters? Any, anything at all? Does it have, doesn't need to be related to putter. Um, I wish I could answer when golf course is going to open up, but who knows when that's, <laughs> that's actually going to ha happen. <laughs> um, hopefully pretty soon you know, I might start traveling to other states. Um, I've got the itch right now to get out to the golf course and um, get some get back into, into things. Um, what are the more popular putters for for ladies and brands? Uh, I would say um, probably Ping. Ping is probably one of the more kind of popular ones. Um, Ping is a, is a you know, good one. I'd say maybe Odyssey is, is, is another um, one. But you know, as I mentioned earlier, you know, just because you know you're 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 a lady uh, doesn't mean that you fit into a just a ladies putter. I would lean towards kind of the lighter ones. Um, but essentially, something a little bit shorter, something that you can go a little bit shorter and make sure you keep that swing weight um, in, in the right right spot, as opposed to just grabbing a putter that's really long and cutting it down, that's going to affect the swing weight of the putter a little bit too much there too. Um, I mean, you know, value wise, I'd say ping and, and odyssey, you know, maybe a little bit on the you know, cheaper side, as opposed to getting very tight to Scotty Cameron, you know, they're great. A lot of that comes, you know, comes down to the way it's kind of made and the material that, it, that it's used. Uh, but they're all, they're all, there's great putters out there for males, females, um, juniors, uh, end of the day, make sure you get the right length, right weight. Um, and I touched on weight a little bit there before. Um, end of the day, we want to, want to make sure we have good weight putter because we're about to control how far that golf ball is going. If someone's having issues with the uh, with their speed um, or their tempo is a little bit quick or a little bit slow, you know, we want to make sure we could maybe play a putter that's a little bit heavier or a little bit lighter. So that's a conversation that also comes up in our, in our fittings is maybe what's your what's your tendency whether you kind of miss the ball long or short um and that's what we kind of talk about with regards to um uh weight of the putter um a couple more questions here before we go got michael thanks for the question what changes is if i shorten my putter so what will change so if you're going to shorten your putter um you know essentially what's going to happen is lying with me maybe a little bit flatter um, it's going to allow you to get your eye position a little bit closer to the ball. Um, and also, you know, swing weight is going to change a little bit. So the swing weight, um, it's going to be maybe, it depends how much you're taking off. I wouldn't want to chop off a lot of the putter, um, cause essentially it's going to make it feel a little lighter in, in your hands. Um, or you may actually feel like more wool weight down and down the toe as well. Um, so I wouldn't shorten your putter by extreme. So you may actually want to do, if you do shorten your putter a lot, actually put a grip on there that has a little more weight on it. So like the um, counter core, um, super stroke counter core would be a good option to make up for that weight loss in, in the grip. Um, there's a good option there to kind of keep that weight. But yeah, weight's going to change, line goal's going to change. Um, it's going to allow you to get the ball, you know, eye position a little bit closer to where you want to be. Um, but don't go too short. Absolutely don't go too short. Uh, one more question here. Caleb, again, thank. Have you seen any results in even roll putters and their major technology that's supposed to help regulate ball speed when you stray from the center of the club face? One thing I've noticed with the even roll putters is kind of they're a little bit higher MOI. So this is a good question here. Um, so end of the day, if you you know, I was talking about kind of blades, something that's got a little stronger arc. A lot of even roll putters and more kind of straight back, straight through putters. 
So they're more kind of mallet type. So um, if you were going to stray from the middle of the club face, if I have a putter that's very, very, you know, for example, a strong arc five, I was getting Notice how this uh, was going to make this toe is going to kind of move around a little bit. So that's off center hits is going to cause that putter to kind of move around a little bit. If I was going to grab a mallet, for example, and do that same thing, that club's not going to move around as much as, as well. So uh, it's one thing I've kind of noticed is, you know, stability from the even roll putters. And actually most putters that have a little bit more, um, most putters typically have a little bit mallets, you know, more stability it's going to cause that ball to go a little bit straighter on those off-center hits. So that's one thing I've kind of noticed there. Uh, and then ball speed is not lost. So in the day, your speed remains the same. All right. Um, well, thank you guys. Thanks so much for joining today. I uh, hope this all helps. Um, hopefully you're all staying safe. Everyone's, you know, social distance here for the most part. Hopefully Minnesota gets on board with a few of these other states um, that are still kind of open. I believe golf is a great social distancing sport. Um, just don't go out there and go on courses that are, or that are closed right now. Stay patient. It's going to be a great summer here in, in the States. Um, I'm really excited to play in some events, hopefully here some, sometime soon. Um, thanks for joining here today. Really appreciate it. Bye.